yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hip Hop Gaming, the one and the only. I got Double J with me. Double J is, yo, what's going on, so what's pop? Give me that right there, that's what I'm talking about. I got Double J with me, and that's my man Joshua and my man James. They represent Intel, and I'm surprised. I'm gonna tell you right now. Because if you look up, like, take the camera, look up a little bit. You see the tree? It's, it's a tree of ultra books up there being powered by each other. So even if something cuts off, that's still gonna go. I'm blown away by Intel right now. And I just have to ask you guys, how was your CES 2013 going so far? What's been the response to the thing that you guys been showing? All right, this first question from John. It's been amazing. And we, we decided to make this tree out of all of these new Ultrabooks. There's eight different kinds up there. And it's been it's been crazy because now they're all touch enabled. So around the base, you can interact with all of them. And it's, I don't know, it's nothing like we've ever done before. It's been really fun. Okay, now it's phenomenal, man. Truly, it's phenomenal. Now, I'll tell you, let me ask you a question, right? Now, this is something that, like, it made me think about video games and everything like that. Now, you guys have a, they got this, like, a, it's like a wheel, like, that you go on, it's like a fan or something, and you go on it, and it controls the video. Like, what the hell? Like, like that is, that's, <laughs> yo, that joint, I was like, so many ideas came to my mind Actually, when I saw that. What's, what's the deal with this? We're really inspired by Intel doing a lot of, they call perceptual computing. So beyond just the, beyond the keyboard and mouse, it's starting to use your body. And it's not just I gestures it's not with your hand, but your whole, your whole body. Because the tree, we were really inspired by gaming in terms of how we allow that whole system to interact. You know, the way so many different people have viewpoints in the same game when you're playing a, a multiplayer shooter on the internet with your friends. It's the same kind of thinking and technology that we allow this to then happen here in the tree. Y'all need to be here like to really feel this. Like this is crazy. So now here's my next thing. PlayStation 4, the next Xbox, you no, know, all the systems is coming out. And I'm pretty sure Apple may want to know do more and dabble with the industry as well, making the game system or something. With Intel, with what you guys do, like have you guys thought about the future with PlayStation and Xbox? Like, do you guys wanna jump in that like train and try to create something for them? Or did you guys already do something that we don't know about? Let's talk about something. I think Intel, you know, they're, they're, such, they're an ecosystem of technologies. Yes. And the perceptual computing stuff is, is the future of gaming. I mean, it'll be voice, it'll be, you know, touch and able, it'll be uh, all of your senses. And, and it'll go with you everywhere. That's the other part. Is you, you'll be able to have gaming wherever you are. Wait, can you explain what he was like? Can you elaborate on what he's talking about? Yeah, I think wherever you are. Because that sounds great to me. And with the new systems coming out, I would love to see you know, what you guys do right here at Intel. We're really inspired by a lot of these new sensing technologies and the power of these new uh, smart devices that you can take gaming with you, but then you have new sensors that are doing like eye tracking. So imagine playing a game and it can tell where you're looking within the game or it's, you know, or it's also location aware. It's like tracking where you are and that's, that's interacting with not only you're, you're using your tablet and, and the screen at the same time. I think it's a, a new way of thinking. My next question requires one of you to hold the belt. So I, I gotta let you hold the belt because your beard is thick. You'll see you he has the thickest beard, so you gotta hold the belt. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be my honor. You have to hold the belt for this next question, right? That, you gotta give it spit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give it spit. You look good with it, so you look good with it, baby. Alright, so check this out, right? I'm, oh, you got to hold on. Gangsta, baby, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so now here's the deal. Have you guys, or have you guys seen, played, or heard of this product called the Oculus Rift? Oh, that's it. That's what I'm, I told you, son. I told you, kid. This guy, right, right, let's go. Let's I have go. the belt, but it's this guy's the big yeah. Oculus Rift. Oh, right. I'll pass. Gotta let him hold the belt. Gotta take another picture. Pass in the tour. We gotta take another picture. Oh wait, you gotta take a picture with the belt too. We gotta take a picture. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. You yeah. here? All right. So, I feel this real. Yeah. My experience when I played it, I was done. I lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking around. It's you really are out of this world and into another. 
What are your impressions? And what can we expect, hopefully, Intel to touch this? What's up? What's up? I, I, I can't really speak for Intel, but I, I think that the Oculus Rift, I funded the Kickstarter waiting for mine. Alright, alright. Uh, <laughs> Please ship it. <laughs> and I think it's going to be, you know, you're going to see stuff where it's like that, where it takes you to another world. And also people will be doing games that put you sort of more in the world, which is kind of the perceptual computing stuff. But I don't know. It's going to be crazy. Please ship it. All right, uh, please uh, ship it. Yeah. I see, now, the reason why I had to bring up the Oculus Rift because just the way you feel, that's the way I feel. But I feel with what Intel does, you know, as great as Oculus Rift is, we all need help. We don't ask for any help. And I know for a fact, why? Or, 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 right. I think it's this, that with the new technologies or something like this, right? You start having so many different pieces of technology connected. Oculus Rift is one thing where you're in that other world, but when everything comes together, it's like that other world is here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be like there's so many different kinds of gamings and realities that people want to inhabit now, and they can like really live these different worlds across these devices or in these different cultures and, and approaches. It's going to be really wild. Really fun. Cannot wait to see this. Now, I was um, there was a young lady over there who was showing off like this wild like the ultra book and how like she was doing one thing on the ultra book, but it was something different being projected on the screen. And you was doing all these multi multi things had projection like LG outlet like oh. all these cool things. So is this like the next wave for 2013 to tell? Like what's it? Your boy hip hop gamer, we out. Peace.